That's right. Welcome in. Welcome back, folks, to a 247 reporter says Notre Dame is not even a top 30 team entering 2024. There's a lot to react to edition of the Always Irish Show. As always, thanks for being here. You can find the program on YouTube. Do it. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Appreciate it very much. Give the video a thumbs up. That helps Johnny out as well. Notifications on. You know why? That way you will learn it every time a new episode drops. I know you don't want to miss it. Twitter, search bar, always Irish, or at always Irish, Inc. Emails, always Irish, at gmail.com. Audio only, anywhere you want it, you can get it. If you don't want to see my face, I certainly don't blame you for that. The call-in lines, they've been popping this summer. I'm thinking, man, we're out of spring ball. Anybody going to want to call Johnny Boy? The, the line's been popping, so maybe this thing's growing. USA Today, Irish Wire, read all about it there. Patreon.com, a slash, always Irish. It's the former captain, the leading tacker, the head cracker. Mike Goolsby and myself breaking it all down. All right. Welcome in. Thanks for choosing to spend some of your free, precious moments here with your boy. These are some wild times, people. These are some wild times. It's summer. There ain't no football. You never know what you're going to see. You never know what's going to pop up on your feed. So I was scrolling the living, breathing cesspool known as Twitter. And I came across 247 Sports' Brandon Marcello, who put out his ranking of the top 30 teams in America in this summer heading into the season known as 2024. Now, I don't claim to personally know who Brandon Marcello is, but he works for 247, one of the biggest operations going, and he's got nearly 50,000 subscribers on Twitter. That's a pretty big account for a college football specific type thing. All right. Let's bring up the graphic that he posted revealing his top 30 teams. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. Usual suspects near the top, like that doesn't surprise me at all. You know, whatever. There ain't no Notre Dame. There ain't no, (laughs) there's no Notre Dame. You can keep going down the list. Top 10, oh, I don't see them. Top 20, I don't see them. Top 25, top 30, they ain't there. Not on the list. Nowhere to be found. Nowhere. All right. So, being charitable. You know me. I'm a charitable guy. I'm very good natured, right? Me being charitable, my natural state, as you all know, I wanted to give this guy the benefit of the doubt. I genuinely saw this and I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt. What I mean by that is I've seen this happen before. I thought maybe he got so wrapped up into breaking down all these conferences and the teams in there that he overlooked Notre Dame completely, completely forgot about Notre Dame. That alone is pretty egregious as a Notre Dame guy. But I genuinely, honestly thought this guy must have been working in all these conferences and his mind never even thought about anybody that wasn't in the conferences to even add in the mix. So I thought that's what happened here. So I didn't really have a strong reaction other than like I was going to post a question mark or like, you know, you know, what's going on here? So you know how this goes. Soon after he posted it, all the Notre Dame people and a bunch of other people, many of which who say, I hate Notre Dame, but I don't understand how they're not in the top 30. And by the way, when you could get people that hate Notre Dame openly every day on Twitter to look at your list and be like, dude, I don't like Notre Dame either, but you screwed this up. Like, you know you got a bad take when the Notre Dame haters are defending Notre Dame's honor on this one, right? So soon after he posted it, all of us and the other people, everybody started ripping it. Where's the Notre Dame? Where's the Notre Dame? Where's the Notre Dame? So 
He didn't forget it, you guys. He doubled and tripled down on it. Look at this. Teams to watch. Auburn, Boise, Maryland, Texas. Okay, so that's 35. He doesn't even have Notre Dame in the top 35 if those are his next five bids. So he has Notre Dame as like the 40th best team in America. I responded with delete your account, which I thought was very classy by me, by the way. Then he says this. Why no Notre Dame? Too many new pieces at crucial spots. Quarterback wide receivers want to see how they fare against Texas A&M before fully jumping on board. Love the coaching uh, late last season. I had a very hard time deciphering what to expect and chose to keep them for early summer. All right. So then everybody's reacting. The USC guy says, been saying this for years. Like, you know how this goes. Brady Quinn's laughing at him. My man, Mason Plummer. The normal suspects are are here. Um, (laughs) All the Notre Dame people are piling on him. Everybody's giving him a hard time. Zero credibility. Look at all this stuff. Everybody's shaking their head. Did you forget Notre Dame existed? All, All of this stuff. Okay, so... Were you looking for extra attention today? I hope you got it. Like, okay. So that's our framework. And I'm going to scroll back up so you could see the the further see the list, the list that he's working off of here. All right. So let's, let's get into this. He didn't forget. He doubled down, and later in the thread, he triples down on more reasons he doesn't believe in Notre Dame or whatever. Now, here's how I'm going to break this down. Here's my position. Nobody since I started my show in 2016 has been more critical than I have of the team I love and follow and created a brand of. I would challenge any college football YouTuber since 2016. See who's come on their airwaves loving a team and said, we're not doing a good enough job, more Naya. Recently, there are some in the Irish contingent that would say that only applied to Kelly and I'm giving Freeman an easier ride. Even if that was the case, that's only two years. You have all the other years of me piling on, even if that was true. So I'm very open to criticizing Notre Dame. That's why I started this show in 2016. We were going down the crapper and everybody was carrying water for Kelly and nobody was saying what was really going on. That's why I started this show. Going four and eight with a pretty decent talent. Unacceptable. So I'm the first one to say when Notre Dame's not good enough. Here's my beef. If this guy said, these are the reasons that I list, and he listed them. And I'm worried about the wide receivers and the quarterback thing and all that too. If he said, these are the reasons I don't have them in the top 10, totally understand, totally fair. Four losses the first year, three losses, you know, last year. I'm not sure about all this. If if you want to look at all this as a reason to not put us in the top 10, I'm fine with that. But he's got us in 36 or down. He's got 30. And then the next five in, we weren't in that either. This guy has Notre Dame as the 36th best team at best. 36. There's no logic to that. There's no metrics for that. When you look at a bunch of these other teams that are ahead of Notre Dame, there's no metric or logic you could give me that that leaves Notre Dame out of the top 35. It isn't even the top 30. He did his next batch five. Notre Dame wasn't in it. So the highest he's got Notre Dame is 36. That's, I, I, I can't find, you can't find actual metrics that back that up. Like comparatively speaking between Notre Dame and these other teams, Notre Dame's defense alone, regardless of what they do at offense, puts them out of half these teams. What's the number 30 team? I don't even know their logo. If I don't know your logo, you ain't better than Notre Dame, probably. Iowa State, Virginia Tech. Like, I'm just, I'm not buying it. 
NC State, Arizona losing their coach. I, I just can't. Indiana, I, I can't do it. Iowa, who, if you think Notre Dame has a good defense and no offense lately against good teams, they got the same thing, but way worse. I, I so I don't I don't under the defense alone puts Notre Dame ahead of half these teams that he has ahead of us, regardless of what the offense does or doesn't do. Him doubling and tripling down and feeling like he has to explain this all to everybody and keep it tweeting, it kind of maybe tells me he feels a little exposed at so many people, and that's why he keeps trying to justify it. Again, all the things he's concerned about, I am as well. Those are not false concerns. Those are reasons to keep Notre Dame out of the top 10, not 35. Most outlets have had Notre Dame between 5 and 15. High end 5, low end around 15. I have no problem with that. And Notre Dame's going to have every chance in the world to prove people right or wrong or where they rank them before this season. I'm not mad at Joe in the teens, whatever. Like, you're going to be able to work your way out of that, whatever. And and But top 36? They're not in the top 36. There's just, there's not even, you could think whatever you think. There is not statistical metrics that allow you to have a bunch of those teams at Notre Dame. I just, I don't know what they, just Notre Dame's defense alone makes it better than a lot of those teams. Even if the offense is whatever that they're worried about. So I, I don't listen. I don't know if this is a guy who does national stuff and is all wrapped up in this or that or the SEC and the Big Ten and he doesn't pay attention to Notre Dame and they're like out of sight, out of mind. Like, I don't know this guy's deal. But you got to push back on this one. Notre Dame's not a top 36 team. They won 10 games last year, have a good roster, a staff everybody loves, like, uh, and you don't have them in the top 35? Are you outside your mind? Again, I'm the first one to criticize the team I love when it's warranted. And if you used all these reasons to keep them out of the top 10, I have no beef at all. Leaving them out of the top 35 seems like a personal insult or he really did forget about Notre Dame and now he's backtracking it because he's too embarrassed. Is anybody thinking that way? It either means uh, you just hate Notre Dame and you're ignoring all the metrics or haven't followed en- enough to know what they do or not do well. Or he really did forget to put Notre Dame in this all together, but he's too embarrassed to admit it. So he's doubling down now post haste and post paste. So, <laughs> man, I, I, Not in the top 10, fine. Not in the top 35 seems very personal. And when you look at that list of some of these other teams, there's just no way. I'm not being rude. I don't know who number 30 is. It's cut off. I have no idea who it is. Iowa State, like, no. Virginia Tech, no. We'll play Louisville. We'll see. I just can't. I can't handle it. NC State, Arizona, all these teams are better than Notre Dame. Iowa is negative offense, nothing. Bro, I I can't do it. I can't do it. So this guy's getting a lot of, uh, he's getting a lot of messages and a lot of people that disagree with him. It it seems like blatant intentional disrespect to Notre Dame. Here's the deal though, man. The only way you're ever going to shut people up like this and ESPN and the Big Ten shills and fine bomb down at SEC, the only way you shut these people up is to win and win big. It's the only way you win this this PR debate. Win and win big and force people to respect you. You have not been elite for way too long. You have not earned elite respect. You got to go claim that again if you're Notre Dame. Lou said there's one thing that we want more than anything else, and that's respect. Respect around the country. Go earn it, Notre Dame. You have a golden opportunity in 24 starting in the blazing Texas sunset to prove a point. Go earn the respect you want 
and the respect that this program was built on. All right? Outrageous. Top 36. Notre Dame, a top 50 team. If this comes to reality, by the way, if this guy's right, if this guy's right, this show's going to be a nightmare. So he better be wrong. What do you think?